Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Star Wars Art Comics. This is got forward by Dennis O'Neill, as well as an introduction by Virginia Mecklenburg. I've got a name wrong, sorry. But this is Abraham's book. This book came out in 2011. I paid about five or six pounds for it. It was in a sale, I think probably because it was damaged. You see the damage up there. There's the details there. You can see $40 US. This is obviously 2011. I don't know if it's still in print, if it's readily available. I don't know. I did a search for it, but of course, look for Star Wars comics. You find a lot of other books, not this one. So it might still be easy to pick up. So let's just go for the book. 180 pages, super glossy paper, really first class. To me, this is basically an artisan edition. Not all the pages, of course. The artisan editions that IDW produce obviously don't generally have the colour in there. But this does have a few pages that are in colour, as well as, of course, the lovely inked pages. Just beautiful. And lots of different artists as well. There's a whole range of Mike Mignola and many others. So, also on, look at the back on there. Just absolutely glorious. That's what you call a great back cover there. See, there's Star Wars comics. And slight my copy slightly damaged. I keep looking at that. Every time I notice, I go past it. It doesn't really damage the book particularly. I mean, there's a few slight. You can see at the top. But one of those things... Obviously, there's Darth, and there's the forward. Now, there's not vast amounts of discussion. There's sort of a few sort of little essays like this. There's also an in sort of chat at the back about discussion about various Star Wars comics. That's quite good as well. And also, there's the biographies. But that's it. Mostly, it's lots and lots of pages of the superb artwork. And there you can see there. And all of them have got, obviously, a little bit of detail about the artist. Also, the methods they used, such as brush and ink on illustration board. Also, when they did it, 2001. Now there's lots of like Dark Horse ones. There's also a lot of the Marvel ones as well. So, And also, like I say, some colour ones, really spectacular colour one there. And some colour there. Typical when you turn the pages, saying it's all illustrations. But most of them, I like that. Look at that. Just a lovely... That's obviously, I assume, one of the Marvel comic ones, wasn't it? Oh, no, Dark Horse. It says at the top. That's a big clue, isn't it? Dark Horse up the top. But there are definitely lots of ones that are Marvel. And, of course, when I'm flicking through it, most of the ones I find are Dark Horse. After saying that, they're still great, Absolutely stunning. All the various pages there. Another great one there. And this one, when was that? 2003, again, Dark Horse. Oh, finally. Some Marvel comic ones. There, I knew there were some Marvel comic ones in there. You can see a Marvel Al Williamson there, of course. Al Williamson gives, again, details about this thing. Issue number 40, page 11. 17 by 11, obviously the original. I, I don't know how different that is, but I don't know what the size of this book is. You can see it's a fair-sized book, so it's not too... Different from probably 12 inches, I would say. So it's slightly, uh, a bit less, but not excessively so. And you've got some lovely artwork there. And again, some colour pages there. Arthur Adams one, that's spread. Obviously a double page spread there. Really quite stunning. Some more, obviously Darth, I don't know who the artist is. Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes there. Obviously that was the one that's used on the cover. Inside here as well. And there's, let's see, Frank Whit Oh, I love Frank Whitley. As well, there, Tim Brad Street. See there, oh, notice the sun's coming through, it's just lighting up slightly. Those, I mean, this is from Abraham's book, their books are always quality. I really love Abraham's. I've got quite a few on order of Abraham's, unfortunately, not all of them seem to ever come. Marvel, Mighty Marvel Calendar seems to be taking forever to come out, so I hope at some point that will come out. But there's also Spider Man panel by panel. Will that ever come out? I really hope it does. But this 2011, obviously. I assume it's out of print now. I don't know. Please put in the comments below if you know if it's if it's hard to get. Maybe it's very easy to pick up. I don't know. And you can see there. I didn't buy it too long ago, so it was it was still going doing around. I think it was in Forbidden Planet. I think I'm quite certainly it was. They have quite a lot of these lovely books that they put for in sale for about fiver. Uh, quite often great to pick up. I think that's where I got it from. And then also some more pages there. You can see there's Star Wars. Just great. Beautiful ink pages, 180 pages, quality, quality book. Definitely really worth picking up this one if you're a Star Wars fan. Now, I'm not a mega Star Wars fan, so a lot of the characters in here, I mean, obviously I know Luke Skywalker, etc., Darth Vader, but lots of the Star Wars universe that's featured in here, I'm not 100% familiar with all the characters. Would have been nice, actually, if they'd included a little bit, whoops, hitting the mic there, you know, a bit more of the details about some of the characters there, because I don't know who... Who that guy's? <laughs> he could be anyone for all I know. And also some of the other characters, some more obvious than others. But I'm just not always familiar with all of them. But still, 
that's about the only slight moan I would say about this book, which I think is absolutely glorious. The Star Wars Artisan Edition that never was. Hopefully IDW will finally one day release that. It's been listed forever. I've ordered it a few times, cancelled it, ordered, cancelled. But at least I've got this one instead. Star Wars, the brilliant comics book from Abrams.